Whoa. Ooh, you have to be kidding me. That's, this is almost taking up the entire page. What are we going to do with this monster? We have to integrate? Whew. Okay, let's try to think this through step by step. This part, x to the fourth plus 5x squared plus 4, seems like you're going to get something like this. When you square x squared plus 2, you're going to get something similar to this. Hmm. And we know, we know the derivative of arc tangent of x from our calculus 1 class is 1 over 1 plus x squared. So by, by letting this entire thing, letting this entire thing be u, you're going to get 1 over 1 plus u squared and 1 over 1 plus whatever this, this thing squared. So we, by letting arc tangent of x squared plus 2 over x be u, you're going to, you're going to square this and that's going to be in the denominator and that's similar to what you want. So maybe that's the way to go. Why don't we try that out? Let's try it out. And by the way, this question is from MIT 2006 Integration B. And if you guys want to check out a very competitive video, I've included a link down below. So you guys can watch it if you want to. But we're going to continue with our discussion. Let's let u be arc tangent of x squared plus 2 over x. And let's see if taking, if differentiating is going to benefit us. So what's du? Well, du is 1 over 1 plus, you're going to square once inside, x squared plus 2 over x squared, and you want to multiply by derivative of x squared plus 2 over x. So let's differentiate that. When you differentiate x squared plus 2 over x, which is the same thing as x plus 2 over x, so when you differentiate this, x plus 2 over x, you get 1 minus 2 over x squared, also known as x squared minus 2 over x squared, because 1 is x squared over x squared. I'm just combining the fractions. So we know we have to multiply by x squared minus 2 over x squared dx. So we have our du right here. And if you're confused, I'm just applying the differentiation formula for arc tangent. Arc, when you differentiate arc tangent of u, you're going to get 1 over 1 plus u squared. And you want to differentiate u because of chain rule and multiply by that. And what do we have now? Well, we have something very promising because we wish to have x squared minus 2 up top and we do have x squared minus 2 that's being generated when you evaluate this. So why don't we continue with this? Continue with this idea and see where it leads us. So you have, so you have 1 over 1 plus, let's square x squared plus 2, that's x to the fourth plus 4x squared plus 4 over x squared and you have x squared minus 2 over x squared. So you're multiplying this thing to x squared and you have dx. So let's keep on going. Multiplying this thing by x squared and distributing gets us. We have x squared minus 2 on the top and we have x squared multiplying x squared and 1. And by multiplying x squared to this fraction, x squares are going to cancel out. So you have plus x to the fourth plus 4x squared plus 4 dx, and this we can simplify even more, x squared minus 2 over x to the fourth plus you have 5x squared plus 4 dx. Okay, isn't this what we had? And yes, it was. We had x squared minus 2 over x to the fourth plus 5x squared plus 4 to begin with. So this entire thing is du and this part arc tangent of x squared plus 2 over x is u so we are basically done so we have we have let's let me just go to the right for this one we have integral all of this craziness simplifies to du over u and you can integrate this instantaneously that's natural log of absolute value of u plus c and our u was this craziness arc tangent of x squared x squared plus 2 over x and you want to have plus c constant to integration and we are done. This crazy integral, the solution to this crazy indefinite integral is simply natural log of absolute value of arc tangent of x squared plus 2 over x plus c.